wouldn't like to be in his shoes, though. You're from the sect camp, aren't you? We call it the Brotherhood. I'm Baal Kagan. The sleep will be with you. What are you doing here? Originally, I was sent here to convince people to join our Brotherhood. But these barbarians are not interested in spiritual enlightenment. Therefore, I'm restricted to selling swamp weed. And that is a popular occupation here. Too popular. I can already deliver as much as they want to have. Why don't they send an extra man here? Bal Isidro was meant to help me, but he just spends all day in the bar on the lake and trades his weed for rice schnapps. He's addicted to the spirit. I fear I cannot expect any help from him. I could help you sell your weed to the people. I can only entrust such a large amount of weed to members of the Brotherhood. But you could help me give out gifts. Not everybody has tasted my goods yet. As soon as they've tried the weed, they'll want more, which means I can sell more. I thought you could hardly manage to do your task now. Bala Sidro will be taken care of soon. I've already sent a message to Korakalam. What's in it for me if I hand out the weed for you? I can reward you in many different ways. You can get magic spell scrolls from me, bearing the powerful magic of the sleeper. Or I can help you join our community if that's what you want. I have very good contacts to Kor Kalam and Baal Tion. Both are very close to E. Baryon, our master. I can pay you with plain ore as well if you prefer. A hundred nuggets should be enough for your efforts. Okay, give me the weed. Who do you want me to give it to? You're sure to find someone who'll take it. Talk to people, but only give one stalk to each person. One more thing. If you let somebody take the weed from you or if you smoke it yourself, our deal ceases to exist. Sure. Do you want some swamp weed? I'll give you ten ore for it. Here. Any time you need to get rid of some more, just stop by. Do you want some swamp weed? I'll give you ten ore for it. Here. Any time you need to get rid of some more, just stop by. You look like you could do with some swamp weed. You go, son. I'll have a stalk for ten ore. <laughs> Come back any time, brother. You look like you could do with some swamp weed. You go, son. I'll have a stalk for ten ore. <laughs> Come back any time, brother. You look like you could do with some swamp weed. You got some? I'll have a stalk for ten ore. <laughs> Come back any time, brother. I have some swamp weed here. Do you want some? Sure. Here's ten ore. Come by again when you get some more, will ya? You don't look very agile. I could help you. I, doubt that's ever I can show you how to control your body. It's the art of acrobatics. Don't listen to all the blathering. Same old story every time. I have some swamp weed here. Do you want some? Sure. Here's ten ore. Come by again when you get some more, will ya? You look like you could do with some swamp weed. You got some? I'll have a stalk for ten ore. <laughs> Come back any time, brother. You look like you could do with some swamp weed. You got some? I'll have a stalk for ten ore. <laughs> Come back any time, brother.
You look like you could do with some swamp weed. You got some? I'll have a stalk for ten or <laughs> come back any time, brother. Exactly. Come over here. What do you want? You've just arrived, haven't you? I noticed it straight away. There are a lot of things you need to know. I can teach you a few things. Besides, you have to watch who you talk to. Butch, for example. That's the guy over there, next to the campfire. Be aware of him. What's the matter with Butch? He has the mean habit of beating up the new ones. So you better avoid meeting him. I doubt that's a... I've shared out the weed. The first new customers have already been to see me. You've done a good job. What will you have as a reward? Tell me to join the Brotherhood. Your request is modest. I'll help you, so listen to me. Baal Tion is one of the lower gurus, just like myself. E. Baryon has made him one of his advisors. That has not done him any good. He now thinks he's so important that he'll talk to nobody but his disciples. If you give him this here, It'll loosen his tongue. And where do you want to go? Why, in there? Forget it! Silas only wants to see scrapers and rogues in his bar. Same old story. I'm a scraper, and I'm thirsty. You look like one of those filthy rats. Come on in. Reliant. Maybe. Laris has a message for you. Tell me about it. He wants to know what's going on in the sect camp, and he wants you to find out. I get the feeling this problem will solve itself. There must be something about that story after all. How's the distillery going? I can hardly keep up with these guys. Man, can they drink. That's a good thing, really. While I'm busy, the Rice Lord's lapdogs leave me alone. What can you tell me about the Rice Lord? He's a damn swine. His thugs pick on the weak and force them to work in the fields. Well, the only one who could stand up to him is Horatio, but uh, he doesn't do violence. Well, I did once hear him say he'd love to smash the Rice Lord's head in, but uh, he'd never really do it. He had to go against his beliefs. from the free mine, right? Right. How'd you find that out? I'll tell you something, you have a problem. Bal Kagan will make sure you'll be replaced. Some people what? The sleeper have mercy on me. 
name. I need to get rid of this stuff. You don't look very happy. I'm not. I need to get rid of a whole pile of weed. You're here to sell goods from the sect camp? Yes, but I just can't be bothered. I could sell the weed for you for a consideration, of course. Forget it. I'm not as drunk as all that. You just go running away with it. Here you go. Have another drink on me. Thanks, man. I'll drink to your health. Let's talk about something else instead. Think about it. Give me the weed and we'll share the profit. Oh, man. I need to get rid of this stuff. You wouldn't try to make me look like a fool, would you? I give you my word. Good. Here's this stuff. You should get at least 400 ore for it. That would be 200 for each of us. I'll be waiting here. Come back as soon as you have the ore. Do you know who'll take bigger amounts here? If I knew that, I would have gone myself. I feel much better now that I'm rid of this stuff. trade in anything else? I buy furs and skins from the hunters. If you get something like that, I'll buy it. Hey, how's it going? Do you want to buy something? I need a few things. Ah. 
obvious that there would be trouble ahead. I'd better keep out of it. Maybe. People don't need to know it. People always talk. As long as I'm not involved. Ah, you're probably right. I thought that'd be cleared up ages ago. That wasn't very clever. It's just obvious that there will be trouble ahead. I doubt that's ever likely to change. Rely on somebody in your It's obvious that there will be trouble ahead. Shoes, though. That's really not my problem. There must be something about that Maybe. story after I thought that had been cleared up ages ago. I sold the weed. And my 200 ore? Here it is. Good. Now I don't give a damn about Bal Kagan anymore. <laughs> it was a good idea to do business with you. to be in his shoes, though.
yourself. People don't need to. I wouldn't it's like obvious. To Let's you talk know. about your life. Right. Right. <laughs> What's not that a big? Not that it a big was give it to yourself. I have the list from Ian. Well done. That'll get you a few brownie points. Take care. Hey, you. Are you talking to me? I'm warning you. People like you can get into trouble awfully quick around here. And most of the guys they chuck in here are bastards. They think they can do what they like to you. But we won't allow that. Gomez wants some peace in the camp, and we guards make sure he gets it. But it's a job that doesn't come cheap. That's why I'm asking you for some ore. Look on it as a kind of token of friendship. You help us, and we'll help you. If you get in trouble, we'll be there for you. You mean you want me to pay protection money? No thanks. I can take care of myself. Have it your own way, kid. You'll soon regret turning down a friendly offer. Rely on somebody in your own trouble. That's how it goes. See ya. Take care of yourself, kid. I told you bastards not to run through my hut. What's your problem? Leave me alone, man. Everyone's a problem with me. It all started when I built my hut. Don't build your hut close to the ditch, they said. But none of these bastards told me what would happen if I still did it. When I came back from the mine a few days ago, I had a second door. Those pigs, I hate them. I can't tell you how much I hate them. Now everybody runs through my hut. Every idiot. Aren't you the guy who wants to join the camp? What if I am? I could help you. And how? There are two guys sitting around outside the camp, and one of them has stolen something from the ore barons. It's a precious amulet, which should have arrived with the last convoy. One of them should still be in possession of the amulet. If we attack them together, we should manage. I couldn't do it on my own. Why do you say? Count me in. All right, just tell me when we can start. Can you teach me something? Yes, I can teach you to improve your dexterity or your strength. Your strength has increased a lot. Come back soon. There are many things you need to learn. Take care. I'm not listening to all the blabber. That was very long as I'm. That's hang on. Maybe. I'm not listening to all that. You shouldn't. Why does that happen over and over again?
I got. I hear you've spoken to blood with her. Why? What do you want? Yeah, it was real cool of you to refuse to pay him protection money. It means we're all gonna have to pay your share as well. I'll make sure you remember next time he asks you. It's finished him off! Hey you, I learned you didn't want to pay protection money to Bloodwin. What do you want? To warn you, Bloodwin paid some people. They're Don't gonna do you, you in. Want. I saw how he talked to people like Herrick over there, and God knows who else he hired. Your warning about Herrick is a bit late. He must have talked to somebody else as well. That much I know, so do take care. How often have I told you bastards not to run through my hut? I'm ready to go with you. Let's get the amulet. Okay, let's do it then. Some people. You gotta watch what you. So, here we are, far away from your friend Diego. I'm to Come send back, you regards you from Bloodwin. He's had enough. Don't panic, you've won. Slowly, slowly, you've won. Don't panic, you've won.
That same old story every time. I wouldn't like to be on this ladder so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need armor. You have to earn a Templar's armor like I'm wearing, but you can have a novice's loincloth. Better than nothing. You won't get it for free, though. Okay, give me the loincloth. This piece of cloth can save your life. Here, Master, a modest present from your student. What was that? In the name of the sleeper, I've had a vision. It was incredible. I saw that we would win a new brother. One who was not like those who came before him. He was doing something to us. There was a sword in his hand. 
and he was descending a wide flight of stairs. Then the vision ended. He looked very much like you. Who are you? What do you want? I'm just a modest servant of the sleeper. Go to Kor Kalom. He'll take care of you. 